Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Daniel. Hey. Oh, my God. Daniel, you are giving me life. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I heard everything from Bee Gees to some songs that were like in my memory and I couldn't remember them <laughs> to try to get some French in my brain. <laughs> Same. It will help for later when we're pronouncing some of the speakers. Yes, yes. In fact, yes, some interesting speakers from France. So we've been uh, brushing up on our pronunciation, which I unfortunately will probably butcher. I never studied French uh, in high school, <laughs> studied other languages. So um, I hope they forgive us. Vanessa, welcome. <laughs> welcome yeah, to I'm here. I'm, Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so, I've been super excited the whole time. I can't wait for us to continue. Yes, and I'm excited that we are officially kicking off the main part of Get Up Stays. Um, it was so great to see so many of you joining us for the kind of pre-show workshop. Um, it really is the, the Get Up Stays, but uh, given the, the hour for you know all the time zones we try to cover, we call it a pre-show, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to see the questions and people engaged. And yeah, please give us feedback. Um, if you want something like this again, you know, we're very thankful to be partnering with um, our great speakers, Joaquin and Tiffany. And as I mentioned, they are working on different tutorials as well on different topics. Um, and it's just a great, great um, platform to be able to provide this and just helping everybody get on board with Kubernetes, um, with Flux, with other things. So speaking of flux, um, just to mention, um, we've had GitOps days in the past and we've had different technologies. You'll see different technologies at this event as well. But this particular one today and tomorrow, there's so much going on with flux and the flux ecosystem and so many more flux users with so many exciting use cases that we kind of decided to just double down. So I'll just give you a quick overview. Um, one thing very quickly, um, if you didn't see the workshop, we should say this is an event for GitOps um, and the highest level um, in uh, definition in case you are absolutely brand new and thank you for joining if you are brand new um, is that um, GitOps is the, the name um, uh, shares. Um, as some of you know, Git, it's a version controlling system. And we've been seeing people doing infrastructure operations using Git that maybe originally was sort of designed or thought to have been designed for you know, app development. So our uh, illustrious CEO, <laughs> Alexis, <laughs> at one point uh, a couple of years ago said, oh, Git ops, because <laughs> Alexis is very good at marketing and coming up with coin, <laughs> coining terms. And it was really fun to see people tweeting like, oh, uh, we're doing that and I came up with a word and it wasn't as catchy as GitOps. And so, as I've mentioned before, uh, um, in that particular year, uh, it was the first Helm Summit, which I was fortunate to go to, uh, it was pre-COVID. So we were all there in person in Portland. And I think it had only been a couple of months since Alexis had published um, the blog post on GitOps. And it was just amazing to hear everybody saying GitOps, 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 as if <laughs> the term had existed for a very long time. Um, and so again, so it, it, um, you don't have to use Git and you don't have to use Kubernetes to do Git ops. Um, but in this space, we're gonna, you're going to see a couple days here sort of focusing on the many people who have been practicing Git ops in this space. Um, and hopefully, as you'll hear a little bit with our first keynote with Taylor Dolezal from the CNCF, um, you know, we've been kind of talking about how Kubernetes that kind of GitOps is a natural evolution of Kubernetes um, because of the way it's designed that you can, together with Flux now, um, and you'll hear some more about Flagger, um, you can have this practice where you have a Git repo with a file, usually a YAML file, a manifest file, that states what the state will look like. And the combination of these technologies now are able to just check on that file see what the state should be and automatically um, make that happen to your cluster. So you just make a change. And so because it's in Git, you see the audit log. If something goes wrong, you can see what created that problem um, and make changes. Um, but once you make that change, it will make all those changes to the cluster. And even better for security, which is always important, which you'll hear about from so many of the speakers. Um, if somebody does something nefarious out in the wild, um, Flux and Kubernetes and the various tools will just say like, oh, it's not what the state should be, and they'll just, you know, heal it to what the state should be. So it's really, really um, an exciting time, and that's why there's so many people excited about wanting to adopt um, this GitOps approach. You'll hear from 
um, companies, uh, which I'll list, who are just committed now. They are like, this is the way we want to go. You know, it might be like our team has just gone started on this journey and we're working with other teams to go as well. Um, and um, if you heard Tiffany's talk, you know, we sort of have the four principles that have been kind of agreed upon in the CNCF by the GitOps um, working group. Um, but as we've talked about in past GitOps days, um, you can take this journey slowly. If you can just adopt one of the four principles, you know, take the easiest one and start following that path. And everybody here, um, I'm so excited about the speakers, you know, everybody's either early on their journey in the middle or they feel pretty advanced. So you'll hear all the different um, examples that we have. So quick overview, um, we will have two days of users of Flux um, and practitioners of GitOps. We have fantastic companies such as Orange, Crayon, State Farm, Ring Central, um, OSO.sh, uh, Anova, Safaricom, and many, many more. Um, and then you'll also hear, um, if some of you might have heard in the past, such a success for the Flux project, which is in the CNCF, to see partners or platform um, um, companies wanting to offer GitOps and trusting Flux as an absolutely secure and enterprise ready um, uh, project that they could use. So you'll hear from Microsoft, Amazon, D2IQ, VMware, and Red Hat. Um, and then you'll also hear from other people in the ecosystem of Flux working with other projects in the CNCF, working with other commercial projects, uh, uh, products and projects um, everywhere from Terraform, Vault, Crossplane. Um, I know there's a project um, that Aqua Security is putting together um, and many, many more. So it's a very exciting day in which you'll be able to hear all those. And then finally, don't miss tomorrow morning um, for us in the West Coast. So it'll be evening for those in Europe. And if people on the West Coast want to wake up a little bit early, we have a fantastic um, pre-show session with two of our Flux maintainers, um, Philippe and Stefan, who will tell you all about what's going on with Flux. Um, I know there's OCI updates, um, uh, announcements that they'll share, and um, you'll be able to ask all the questions that you like, as well as ask questions to all these users. Um, and where you'll do that is in the Slack channel. Um, and so just quickly, Vanessa just is fresh off from being at the Flux booth at KubeCon <laughs> EU. Um, tell us a little bit of the excitement that I was able to see on Twitter. It was amazing. I mean, we ran a competition, Flex Your Flux. It did great. We asked users, um, beginners, people who were just interested in Flux to answer a couple of questions and they were given a free t-shirt. I'm so sorry, guys, don't hate me for the rest of those who did not get a t-shirt. We Hopefully, if you beg the team, maybe we'll be able to <laughs> print some more t-shirts later, but it was great. I was able to interact with a lot more users. I really wanted to, this was my chance to understand the community since I joined seven months ago. So it was really good. People are really interactive. The maintainers, like such as Lee and Philip, who you'll hear from later today or tomorrow, you'll see that they did a great job just engaging and answering all the questions. So it was it was super good. I can't wait for KubeCon October. North America. <laughs> <Yes>. North America. <laughs> yes. We hope that we'll see people there. Um, as well as, yes, and we'll shout out to Microsoft. We are a small startup here at WeWorks, as you see, of Vanessa and I, and some many of the team members here are all here to deliver GitOps days. We work at WeWorks. So um, shout out, it really was a limited edition <laughs> t-shirt print, <laughs> thanks to just nice generosity from some friends at Microsoft that said, this sounds like a cool thing, we'll do that. So we're hoping that later this year, we'll also have either similar generosity or more funding and you know go all out so that, um, yes, we'll have people out there enjoying the, this is a, 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 a or earlier version of um, oh. the cuttlefish. And um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Yes, um, yeah. Flex Your Flux, however, if you look at uh, Twitter, Flex Your Flux um, is still going. And really yeah. the idea is that, um, you know, just some of the basics about Flux, refresher, a lot of times really advanced users, longtime users, you know, you're busy and Flux is moving very quickly. Uh, you know, we have uh, such a great, um, you know, efficient development that we totally understand if you're like, oh, I didn't realize that Flux can do that now, or these are the capabilities. So this was sort of a fun campaign that Vanessa put together and is still ongoing to 
um, help people to, um, you know, just refresh. Uh, and uh, there's a survey attached to it. And we we're saying that people who um, enter can be selected to do have a one hour um, meeting with a maintainer. And I think we'll be announcing some of those winners at this event. So stay tuned and make sure that you're in our Slack channel. I think that'll be the best place to make sure that we um, have that uh, posted. And yes, we'd love to talk with the um, Flux community and, and hear your needs. And uh, we'll uh, announce who can have um, a meeting with a Flux maintainer. So speaking of KubeCon and the CNCF segue, yeah. our first oh. opening keynote speaker <laughs> is Taylor Dolezal, who is a good friend of ours from back in the day. Taylor's worn uh, many hats, been at Disney, been at HashiCorp, and most recently at the CNCF. 